Hello lovely people. So I'm back. Very excited to be back behind the camera filming some content for you guys. Um, life has been mental since I returned to work. I've not known what's hit me after about four months off. So unfortunately managing my time effectively has not been one of my strong suits. So this page and my YouTube channel have taken a bit of a back seat. So apologies for that and thank you for sticking with me even though I've literally been so boring. But today i have a little review for you guys so about a couple of weeks ago uniwigs reached out to me and asked if i would like to try the melanie topper and i said yes i actually have only had a cheeky little sneak peek at it i haven't even put it on my head um i have noticed that it is parted on the opposite side to how i part my hair so it's going to be an interesting little uh little tester but I think that's better in this way because I kind of want to take you from unboxing to how I make it my own and how I make it work for me because I think that's probably one of the most important things for us ladies when purchasing toppers. Let's have a look inside this box. What's in the box? Sorry. <laughs> so it's got a lovely packaging again it does come really protected which is nice because it has been on a long journey. Half of that was sat in the FedEx depot though, but we'll not get into that. I'm not bitter. So it comes wrapped in a lovely hairnet there. Oh God, I can't get it out. And obviously you've got some um, packaging there just to kind of keep the shape of it more. So here we have her. Look at that colour. This is espresso brown. And that's actually a really, really good match. There's some slight difference in tones, but overall it's pretty good. So it's 16 inches long what I've gone for um, and like I said it's in the espresso brown. I'll show you inside, it looks like this. So it's an 8.5 by 9 mono top and you've got the wefted back there and also I don't know if you can really see it here but it does have like a little bit of stretch in it which I really like in toppers. Um, they just feel like they hug your head a little bit better, they're more secure. Um, and they don't feel kind of like you're sticking something so rigid on top. They kind of mould with your head. Um, so, yeah, that's a really, really good feature. You've got this nice little silicone strip there, um, which I guess is for extra sort of grip, maybe. I think if you're super fine in the front, that's a really good thing. Yeah, you've got three, four, five, six, seven clips. Um, so that's going to be, I don't think I'll use all of them, but it's good to have the option. And even saying that, in the box which just fell on the floor, you get a bunch more clips, which is really, really good considering it's already got seven on it and then you get an extra four. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and try it on. Now, like I said, it is parted on the opposite side, so we're going to see for the first time how I rock another parting. I've blow dried it on the other side, look. Woo! So yeah, this is my um, situation with the bio hair, guys. Um, it's super fine. I've lost a little bit more hair since my last video, mainly around the front there. And they're around the temples. Especially here, I'm like a little receder. That'd be my superpower. Alice, the receder. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I should rehearse these, shouldn't I? So I don't talk so much rubbish. Right, okay, let's go for it. So I'm going to pop her on. So with regard to this, I kind of just get it like this and then I swing it around. I'm just going to line it up just around about there. This is really challenging for me, guys, because like I'm so used to it being on the other side. So I feel a little bit of fingers and thumbs. So apologies if I make a rubbish job of this put under there now because this is an extra uh, like a bigger cap it just really clips in in all the right places away from any sort of fine sensitive loss on top and into mo probably where people have much healthier hair so if you are like me and your hair is quite your hair loss is quite progress or progressive i don't know if that's the right word um yeah, a bigger cap's going to be really good for you. 
but my last one from uni wigs was the um claire upgrade plus which you can also check out on my channel um and that was amazing like even though that was 6.5 by 6.5 it was so comfortable because it had the halo wire but I'm here to talk to you about Melanie. Oh, hello, Melanie. So as you can see, it is a little bit crazy from being in that box. But let's talk length. Perfect length for my hair. It's going to need a cut just to sort of straighten it out. The colour, really great colour match. So if you've got hair similar colour to mine, that espresso brown is going to be perfect for you. Okay, let's have a look at the all, all, I mean, come on. Look how flat that is. There's like hardly any bounce. So this is the parting, the holy grail. So as you can see with the monotop, it's not the most realistic scalp. However, I think it's quite nice on here. There are some visible knots. Um, nothing that a little bit of concealer or a little bit of powder wouldn't fix. Also, I've seen a lot of people using scar tape underneath. But yeah. I'm liking this. The hair is super soft as it was. There's quite a few return hairs, but some people like that. It makes it look more realistic, you know, like when you've got breakages and things like that. But yeah, this is really exciting. I haven't blended it or anything because like I said, I don't even part it on this side, so I'm not going to start messing around with colour. But I just wanted to show you first things first so this is what it looks like when it's come out of the box so imagine you've ordered this topic you're so excited to get it you get it on your head and you're looking at it and i would look at this now and think oh no like it doesn't oh my god what can i do like it's not right for me like as, as lovely and as gorgeous as the topper is it's not working for me right now and that's what we need to sort out so what i'm gonna do then is i'm gonna go and customize this and make this fit me so I'm going to move the part in. I am going to style it to how I like to have my hair styled. And I'm going to put some face framing layers in the front. Now, I'm going to show you how I do all of those things in separate videos. So you can have a look at how to create the realistic part in, how to change a part on it, how to curl and style it, and how to put the face framing layers around the front. But for this particular video, I'm just going to pretty much click my fingers and it's going to look amazing. So, are you ready? Done. And there we have it. That is how I take my topper from unbox to unbelievable. Thanks guys for watching.